Hello. Hi, everyone. Hey, everybody. Everyone, how are you doing? We're I'm Heather Collins from Brutus Monroe. I'm Shannon Smith from Brutus Monroe. And we're so glad that you could join us today. And we're going to be talking about a lot of fun, fun things that just came out. So I have um, some things on my desktop. I'm wearing some things. So this is the brand new t-shirt from Bruce Monroe. And it released with the Retro Rewind um, box. And it benefits the Prasad Center, which is a local LGBTQIA plus center for not only people in that community, but their families, their loved ones, their allies. And it's just a fantastic event. But this year we wanted to give Christopher a birthday box. And I think this box really, really speaks to the nineties. Um, and it's fantastic. We've got some people on, we probably want to say hi to, um, I'm just trying to scroll back up. All right, let's see. Hi, Donna. Hi, Ashley. Travel Dreamer. Hello. That's Sharon. Fatima. Fatima. Okay. Sharon, um, Robin, Gina, Kate, and Anne Marie. And I think I've caught up. Hello, everyone. We're glad you're here with us. Hi, Laurie. Hello, hello. We're so glad that you guys could join us. We're going to be creating and, and talk about a lot of fantastic things that just arrived at Brutus Monroe and a lot of things that we have coming up. So first of all, of the t-shirts, they're $20 for the adult sizes. And we have large, extra large, 2X and 3X. And in use sizes are 15. And in small, medium, large and extra large and they look just like this and they have just want to say hello to jennifer really quick because it's her first time watching us oh hello jennifer. hello jennifer i'm so glad you could join us so yeah so fantastic and then the we have a lot of things that are just coming to the website so if you place an order from right now when shannon and i are live we have uh, if you spend 50 dollars or more and I'm going to take you down to the desktop for a moment. See if I. More from right now, and it's 235 Eastern Standard Time um, in Pittsburgh. For $50, you get the free scrapbook. Um, and Cards Today magazine, and we are one of the featured companies, so you can see part of our spring release. This is a fabulous, fabulous release also, and everything can be found on BritishMonroe.com, and also you get the rainbow stick and stamp mat, and this is brand new, and this is coming out for the Crop and Create Delivered event. So how fantastic is this? Look at the rainbow. And this is the stick and stamp mat that you know and love, but it's in a fabulous rainbow color. And then if you spend $75 or more, you get the new size of the neon aqua pigments. And you get an orange one, a pink, purple, and yellow, orange. yellow, orange. So these are super fantastic. So if you want to uh, create with those, you don't want to miss out on that. Let me mix the media back. Okay, it's our new, Christopher just joined us. Yeah. I came, I ran over because you were trying to change the camera and I wanted to tell you that you don't have to because Darren does all of that on his. But yeah, the new, it's the new mixed media packaging. So we're doing them in a different size and it's a mixed media size because there's a lot of folks that will use their, uh, aqua pigments for different things. They don't need the little droppers. So those can be used as additives for paste. They can be used, I mean, you can use them for all different stuff, but we wanted to bring them in at a different price point. But right now you can only get them as the free gift. 
and they match great with the 90s. They I mean, do. they're really cool. And, and this box... But that's I, all. I'll leave you alone. I know some of you guys said, I want to use this for 80s. Go for it. Create your own ending. We never want to tell somebody. And that's really what the create your own ending means. We will guide you and show you a technique, but we never want to tell you that this is the absolute only way you can do something. So... I, as a mixed media artist myself, I, I love taking something and creating something completely different than what it was intended. And I hope you will too and share on the Brutus Monroe fan club page because we love seeing. Shannon has a fantastic challenge going on. But just in general, we love seeing what you guys put up so that we can see it also. And I think some new people just joined us, Shannon. Yes, I see Karen. Hello. And Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Gerilyn, hello, and oh, we did catch Gina. We'll say hi to Gina again. Yes, hi, that's Gina. sketchy <laughs> die, and we will be going over that, but I want to show you a couple other things. So I don't know about you guys, and I should have brought a pack down, but the Not Your Mama's cardstock, this is something I, I'm going to tell you, I've never seen this in seven years, and I was here before this product was started, and when Christopher launched it, it is the not your mama's cardstock. So just right now through the 19th, you can get your not your mama's and get the second one for 50% off. I mean, oh wow, that's a great <laughs> I mean, that's a steal. And if you put all the items in your cart and your total is over a hundred dollars and we're shipping it in the USA, it ships for free. And that item is also eligible for after pay, which I love. And then I know I'm, we're going to be using these today here at Bruce Monroe, but these new blending brushes, if you were part of the garden party um, event that just happened, Christopher launched these and he had these for the event. And I have to say these blend beautifully. I'm going to be using these today. I know some of you guys wanted to do the make and take with me yesterday. Everybody that showed up, they just love them. And you can get a four pack for $9.99. I this, bought three packs last night when I saw them up, come up because they are just a dream to work with. They, and they're great because you can use them with the little the little nooks and crannies are really easy to get into with those. Absolutely. You can use them on a big um, project, but you can also, if you're going to do those little flowers, like I know Shannon's really detail oriented and you can really get into those spots. So those are fantastic. So take a look, like I said, the t-shirts and all these items are only as, um, and sales and bonuses only while supplies last. So if it does not go into your cart, that means the item is gone. We will not be able to fix it. And also as um, just a fair warning, because I know you guys know that I answer a lot of the customer care, because we have so many orders coming in, if it's not working on the app, you will want to log into BrutusMonroe.com so that everything can go into your cart. And I, I really appreciate you guys because I think this is an amazing release. And like I said, if you spend $50 or more through the 31st or when supplies last, you get the magazine, you get the stick and stamp mat that's just debuting for the Crop and Creek event. If you spend $75 through the end of the month, but while supplies last, you get the four pack, which will, the four pack will be going up for sale. Um, but we have a limited supply that we're debuting through the 31st. So grab yours today. And then I know, and I, I apologize to Shannon. I know that her kit is still coming. So I thought if it's all right with Shannon, I would just briefly go over what is in the retro rewind kit. Is that Okay, uh, Shannon. Work for me. Yes, of course it was okay with me. <laughs> Fantastic. So when we at Bruce Monroe were creating the retro rewind, this this kit really is for Christopher's birthday. His birthday is April third. So when you guys get these kits, if you would love to send uh, a birthday card to Christopher. Um, the address here at Bruce Monroe is 1000 Green Tree Road, Pittsburgh, PA 15220. So that is a fabulous thousand things. So when you get this kit, it is valued a la carte at over $140. And 
I don't know about you, but I love getting a kit where everything is included. First of all, you get this amazing bag and it can be reused. If you want to take the sticker off and put in to your projects, you're welcome to. I know I love to do journaling. So feel free, create your own ending. This bag um, can hold all these little bits and bots. You get the foilable card panels and you get two of each design. You get the conversation clippings and you get two black, two white. Now, both of these products, a lot of people will ask me here in the store, both of these products can be foiled. The foil goes through a regular laminator or a mink machine and the foil sticks to the black parts. So, or you can color them in, you can cut them apart, you can ink blend. You can also just leave them this way. I know I like to do that. You're getting a full pack of our heat resistant vellum. You get the retro rewind paper pad. And if you flip it over, it's our double sided cardstock. And you get all these fantastic designs with shoe and the Walkman and the cube and this retro 90s, just all these popular prints. Then you also get, there's just so many good things in here. You get five of our card panels. So those are fantastic. These two stencils will not be released anywhere but inside this box. So you have the squiggly and you have the save the 90s. So am I correct on that, Shannon? Save the 90s or? Yeah, save the 90s. Perfect. So you get both of these stencils. They will not be any, oh, anywhere else. So fantastic. And then, okay. So I know a lot of you guys are loving this die set. You get the fantastic die set that Christopher and Jess used on the live yesterday. And you get all these little cutouts. So the, the die has, if you flip it over, which I love this about the Brutus Monroe die, it shows you what this can turn into. So you can use it with all these pieces or these pieces. So Christopher and I were having a debate. So I'm slightly older than Christopher. So I was born in 75. I'll just put it out there. I think you should be very proud of your age. So here I am. When this, um, this sketchy toy came out, this was the version that I got. And I don't know about Shannon, but <laughs> did- uh, Mine I, was on a stone tablet, I think. We had to like <laughs> actually etch our sketch. <laughs> <laughs> And then my brother is around Christopher's age and this version came out. So you had all these different shapes that when you stuck it onto this toy, it magnetically made those shapes. So this is fantastic that it gives you both options. And I know Shannon and I were talking, the buttons you can like make multiple ones. So if you wanna make it 3D, you could put a pop dot underneath that. Again, create your own ending. And then, all of these sentiments that are looking like a little connective. I know a couple of people have asked me, is that supposed to be cursive? It's not. It is supposed to be what this toy, if you were to do all these sentiments, how they would be connected. So it says, I love you. Hello. If only wrinkles faded so easily, that seems sketchy. You are classic. Shake things up um, and start over. Happy birthday. Thanks so much. I am drawn to you. Now, a couple of people asked me about these things. And when I was a kid, I could not get this thing to work. So I, this is what it looked like in the corner. So if you wanna do what I did, you can do that. Or Gina, who's on her design team, did a really great rendition. She made a whole bunch of these as a background to this as a feature. And you can see those projects on the Brutus Monroe Facebook page. There's going to be blogs coming out. There's also on our Instagram. So make sure you check that out. And then you get this amazing stamp set and coordinating die. So it has the floppy disk. It has Tamagotchi. It has a, um, a spray bottle. has this shoe because you couldn't have a Christopher uh, birthday box without shoe. The skateboard. 
this phone, which I remember from my um, childhood, a lollipop film, remember cameras that had film, the microphone, you have the little game system here, a ring pop, headphones, CD, you have the VCR tape, the Walkman, and the cassette. The pencil, I don't know about you, Shannon, but I remember playing music in my disc, in my Walkman or my radio, and then it would unravel, and you would have to take a pencil <laughs> and fix it. Yep. I was right there with you, my friend. <laughs> fantastic and then you have all these cool sentiments you got it keep it up um you complete me you're all that in a bag of chips you the bomb sending cool vibes on your birthday so this set comes with all these and we're not done this kit is jam-packed and again instead of 140 dollars, you're only paying 64.99 plus shipping and handling but if you put in the t-shirt if you add a couple more things you can really get free shipping which i don't know about just you but that sounds fantastic just the six by eight stamps and dies together would be like fifty dollars right yeah so we had a couple of so people that just bought this stamp set and this stamp set and their total with shipping came to seventy two dollars Wow. If they wow. had bought the kit that they could have gotten all this extra stuff. So just to keep in mind, and I'm sure you might have a crafty friend and a lot of card making, a lot of people go, well, I don't, I didn't want the paper pad, but the person you're making the card for, you might find the perfect place for those papers. So just, just a, an idea. And then we have this, embossing powder and it makes me laugh every time because i remember going to school and everybody had some type of uh, chewing gum it smells like bubble gum i mean <laughs> it is it is fantastic and it I brings me to get mine i want to <laughs> yeah, smell it... that so bad <laughs> it brings me back to my childhood and the white if you remember those old pieces of gum you had to unwrap them and they had the flower on top so this pink has white in it for a reason so it's pink it's hot hot pink with some white I, bet you, that the, I bet you that the scent on the embossing powder lasts longer than the flavor did on the gum oh i remember that <laughs> yes <laughs> and then you get a sequin pack and we're calling them windbreaker because again if you are growing up in the 90s who didn't have a windbreaker and then the glitter glaze so we have not released a, a new glitter glaze for a long time and this one we have a tiktok i mean look at the shine and the yellow just coming so this is a lot of people are going to ask it is a translucent um, yellow, but it will emanate onto your card. It's pretty cool. And then lastly in the kit, you get the Grape Fizz, which is our idea of a retro 90s puffy paint because, you know, I've worked here for seven years with Christopher and I've heard all these fantastic stories. He loved gaming as a kid. He loves his shoes. He loved doing puffy paint with his aunt and he just loved all that nostalgia from the 90s and growing up. And I really think that we encapsulated that in this box. And I don't know about you, but anyone from really 35 all the way up to 60, they might be celebrating a new job, maybe a milestone. This is fantastic. But then I have a 16 and 13 year old and those huge birthdays, you can make cards, you can do graduation cards with this. I mean, sky's the limit. Yeah, this box is definitely versatile. There's a little of something it is. for everyone. Absolutely. So I know that Shannon and I are going to be creating today. So I want to definitely do that. I'm just going to stick things back in here. So you that we don't start while you're doing that. Sure. Okay. 
All right, guys. Hello. I'm excited to create with you. I have to tell you, I didn't, I was thinking, what do I have even that's 90s? Because I was thinking it'd be fun to wear something. And I was like, well, I wore a lot of denim. I do have a denim shirt. So I did get my nails, kind of a 90s theme. I don't know if you can see, we got the, the grid pattern going on on there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that so, is fantastic. So this little thing is one thing that I have saved since the 90s that cracks me up. I like it still. <laughs> That's why I still have it. But look, do you guys remember button covers? Oh my gosh, I that had button is... covers and I, I actually worked in an accessories department when I was in my, when it was in the 90s. And so I had one of these and I had one of those elastic things that you'd stick on the back of your dress to kind of um, make it go in a little bit to cinch it. Yeah. Well, you also, so, I, I saw from I'm your 90s picture, right you, you did the, you did the cowgirl look. Yes. Well, I, you know, it was a big thing that you'd go to the amusement park where I grew up, Lagoon was the name of it, and you'd get your Western picture taken. <laughs> it was, it was choice. And my hair looks amazing in that picture. I, <laughs> I, I thought it was wrong. See, I was the the whole day, so I What was that? <laughs> I said I was part of the grunge scene. Ah, gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. So a lot of flannel, a lot of checkered. So I love your nails. That's fantastic. Kind of fun, huh? All right. Well, let's, let's get started. So I wanted, I, I had a lot of fun creating this, creating some samples uh, for the release as they're, you're, you've probably seen several of them coming up in the Instagram, but one, I think my favorite one is this one. And so I thought what I would do is not do it exactly like this one and just do something similar and do a spin on it. Oh, I just realized I forgot something. Oh, well, we'll get to that. Okay, so <laughs> I am going to start out with a three and three quarters panel by five. And I'm going to use my stick and stamp mat and just get, this is off the hook, the stencil. We're going to use the off the hook stencil and we're going to use the retro rewind stamp set. So I'm just gonna start off with the stencil. And this was just one of the things I just kept thinking would be such a, a fun thing to to have in my collection. <laughs> so Shannon, so, if I can if I can show the uh, the our partners in creativity at home real quick, and this is something that comes absolutely. up quite often when you first open your stick and stamp mat, you take this plastic off. I've had some people say this I can't get anything to stick. So you want to make sure that you remove this. And then we have some people that say it's too sticky for my needs. Some people like it to be not as sticky. And what I do to see what, how sticky something is, is I literally take my A2 size panel and I put it down. And before I do anything on it to take it off, I go like, this is how you remove the paper. And if it sticks, then you simply take your t-shirt, a microfiber cloth, and you just pat it gently until you get it to where you want it to be as far as stickiness. And that solves a lot of things with your stick and stack mat. And then I'm gonna also, I don't know if Shannon, if you have a blending buddy, but these are fantastic for when you're blending. And a lot of people ask me what the blending buddy is. And it is so that you don't get ink and have to clean your entire mat. <laughs> that is so awesome. I just figured I'd take that little opportunity to do the thing I told you I forgot. So <laughs> no, you're fine. So to use the blending buddy, I'm just going to take, there's little notches here. And I am going to put my stencil in. And that will hold my stencil. And then I just put that right over. There's a little piece, cutout piece right on my stencil. And I'm going to take my brush. And this is the card that I am going to make or recreate today. And this card I made with Christopher in mind, Shannon, since this is his birthday box. 
and of he course. loved orange. And he also I loved, love this is just an insider <laughs> scoop. He loves mac and cheese. So this stencil really reminded me that comes in the box of mac and cheese. Me too. I love it. That's awesome. That cracks me up. I love that you did it or orange for the mac and cheese to go with his shoes too. That's classic. But who really doesn't love mac and cheese? I mean, at least some version of it, right? Right. I agree. Okay. I am going to move what? Oh, I'm sorry. I was actually doing something. <laughs> Hannah, I'm so glad that you're going to get your kit. That's awesome. I think you'll be super happy. Sharon, if you rewatch this, uh, or maybe uh, actually, Heather, maybe at the end, you can go back over the promotion. There is a free gift coming up with purchase. So um, that way we can answer. Yeah, Shannon. I can go, I'll go back through at the very end. I put that stuff on the ground, but yeah, we'll, and I'm also going to just to make sure nothing shifts um, because there's just a lot of things going on. And I like to buy, I'm going to be honest with you. I buy in rules of three. So I have one stick and stamp mat that I use exclusively just for ink blending one for stamping and my other one is when i can't find either one in the middle of the night and <laughs> i can't sleep <laughs> that's awesome okay so i'm going to start out with the off the hook stencil and i've got that on the three and three quarter by five inch panel and i'm using overzealous simon hurley ink and i'm just going to blend across my paper and i'm going lighter at the top because I'm going to do kind of like an ombre. So we'll just kind of work on that for a second. And so I decided instead of doing gray on this one, it'd be fun to do green because, you know, it's St. Patrick's and stuff. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> so I am using Simon Hurley ink also, the shooting star. And what I like to do is I'm going to be working with two colors today. One is the Simon Hurley Roar, which is an orange, and the Simon Hurley Shooting Star, which you should be able to find in our store on brutusmonroe.com, along with the blending brushes. And I always put my light color down first so that I saturate all over the place, and then I just hit in spots with my other color. Um, with blending brushes, if you are new to blending brushes, one thing I like to do is I try using it without even inking it up first, just because sometimes you have a lot of ink left in your brush. So that way you're safe to start and you kind of lay down a, a layer before you get going on really heavier inking. Oh, that's a fabulous trip. I, I, I pretty much am really daring and just put it all down. Go for it. <laughs> hey. Good to get, to have a little risk in there. If you mess up, it's a design opportunity. That's right. Okay, so now that's kind of, I think I'll do a little bit heavier on the bottom, but I'm going to actually do even heavier with a, just a little tiny bit of the later Gator Simon Hurley ink, that just to color. get the bottom a little bit more, you know? And now I'm just going to hit this with this orange, this roar, and it's not going to be, I don't want it everywhere. Hi, Candy. Hello, hello. Okay, I do want to thank Darren for being the man behind the, the scenes, behind the curtain, we say, right, Heather? Right. And um, yeah, <laughs> okay, so I wanna point out something that I should have pointed out before. So you can see I've got the half of a slim line. It's not the full stencil because the bottom has a whole different design. So, but this top part with the grid is A2 sized. So it works perfectly for your card 
background. So now I I'm just love gonna, that with that stencil. I think it's so much fun. I think this is just a fun stencil anyway. It's just makes me want to play. <laughs> so I'm just moving it up now and I'm just going to throw um, just a couple of sticky, sticky notes just to kind of protect the top part. And then yeah, I'm going to take this off oh. my mat now. I'm just going to explain, if you don't mind, Heather, yeah. I'll just explain what I'm going to do next because I can be doing that while you talk because it's all the same thing. It's just different colors. So I'm just going to take um, the Ranger blending tools. Isn't that what they're called? Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to use various inks to fill in the little shapes. So I'm just going to let Heather do her thing while I'm doing that because obviously you'll know what I'm doing. And I'll try yeah, to just- I love how you mask that at the top and that, that grid fit the A2 size card perfectly so you don't have to move it around. Yeah, that's, I know, right? That's fantastic. I agree. So I'm actually done with um, my ink blending on the stencil. And so uh, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to gently just get my blending buddy and my paper. And all I want to do and my stencil, I just roll this back. I kind of, um, if you have a book, and you used to do those flip books. A lot of people ask me how to get the stuff off the stick and stamp mat. If you just pretend like you're flipping a book and it just comes off that easily. And look at that. And I'm just gonna pull it off. And see, that's how if you don't, if you have your mat conditioned, and then to make sure, and look at this, it didn't stain my mat at all because I used the blending buddy and you can see from before I was making other cards because I've had this since the time that the stick and stamp mat first came out and you can see other stains but it doesn't affect it still works and then just to keep it um for the next time I want to use it I am just going to put it away like so and then I'm going to move this stuff to the side and then we have a brand new product with this release that I know Shannon is going to love and you will too. It is our cherry cola mm. uh, squeaky clean. And I mean, I can't get enough of this. I might sometimes just spray it around the room just because it makes me happy. And then do you walk through it? I, like I, a, like I, I might, <laughs> I might rub it on my hands. Tracy that works here sometimes, she she can tell when I've been down in a studio just to get a whiff because she'll go, oh, something smells really good. And I'm like, yeah, that's me because I just sprayed squeaky clean on it. That's right. There you go. <laughs> I should mention I am using Distress Inks because they are um, a little more opaque. And so... You can see a little bit of the grid, but that's that's fine. You'll see they stand out plenty enough. And and this down here at the bottom is where it's the darkest. So when I get to the top, you probably won't even see through it, except maybe on the yellow. There you go. I love the orange and the yellow. That's really pretty. Yeah, it's, this is a fun one. I, I thought it'd be fun to just do different, a little bit different colors. Though the orange and the yellow are actually on both cards. <laughs> so there is a question of is the retro kit limited and the answer is yes we will not be restocking the kit once it sells out and we have no idea of knowing when that will happen they are selling so once they sell out they will be gone and the items that are exclusive to the kit will not be found anywhere so if you're wanting to get some of the things that are in the kit exclusively, I would just go ahead and purchase. One of the things that you can do, because this is, if, is not a subscription box and it's not going to be on auto charge, you can use Afterpay. And what Afterpay does is it breaks it up into four payments. It takes one now. In two weeks, it'll say, by the way, we're going to take another payment and then and up two weeks after that, and two weeks after that. So if you imagine you have a hundred dollar charge to get that free shipping, it's going to charge you $25. And then in two weeks, another 25 and so on and so forth. And then you're paid off. And there's and no really charges. Bruce Monroe takes care of that. 
Yeah, it's really user friendly too. So don't be intimidated by that. It's a really easy to use app. Yeah. All they basically ask is to prove who you are and a reliable credit card. So if you know who you are and have a reliable credit card, um, it's pretty easy to apply. Heidi thinks this reminds her of Saved by the Bell. I was crafting the other yeah. night watching Saved by the Bell, Shannon. Oh, that's hilarious. That's awesome. Apparently, I still speak in 90s lingo. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> Makes sense, right? Right. So the next thing that I am going to do is I am going to cut this circle out and this strip for my card. And because this orange strip does not go all the way over, I literally just cut an inch and a half so that it goes under. And then I was at my friend's house crafting and she had this cool gear, but you can really use any type of circle punch as long as it covers the shoe. I like that one better. And that's all you have to do is just audition and decide which one works for you. And make sure you understand that it cuts the inner circle, not the outer, if the die is right there. That card that you're making, it's like you can't look at it without being happy. It's just that right? sunny color and it's just, it just makes me happy to see it. It made me really happy. Well, it was funny because when I was, I was crafting at my friend's house, we started around six o'clock and we had pizza. It, it kind of took me back to those days where you had, you know, teenage sleepovers, but the mom's not there. It's like the, the teenage shows that are on now, the parents seem to be um, MIA, but uh <laughs> In my day, my parents were in the other realm, but, you know, Kathy and I Same. were sitting there and then at three o'clock in the morning, I was like, I think I have to go home. <laughs> I've come over. Uh-oh. I do not want to ensue panic, but uh -oh. we officially have less than 50 of the boxes left. <laughs> so oh. that's, that's all we got. So if you, if you are even thinking about getting this box, it would be in jeopardy of probably, I would say, selling out over the weekend. So just a heads up, I just checked all the numbers, and we are at less than 50 units available. That's fast. <laughs> Yay, happy birthday. <laughs> Early. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, and I'm going to do this off ca uh, camera, but I took our um, card stock that we have from Spellbinders, and I might not be able to pronounce the name per... Persimmon. Persimmon. Okay, persimmon. Um, and it's our orange. <laughs> Christopher's laughing. <laughs> so the Bruce Monroe cardstock has been in all of the coordinating colors has been retired right now. But we have an amazing, amazing partnership with Spellbinder. So we have their cardstock. So I took this orange and I think it works really well. So I'm just going to cut this with um, just a regular circle die and it's off camera so i'll be right back that's good timing i'm just um filling in the bottom of the last of this side of the stencil so we'll just flip it at the so end I'm shannon we should show all your samples too oh okay i can grab those and, and i'll show mine because i think that people like this, not only is the box amazing, but there's just so many additives to this release that oh, sure. you can get the entire collection, including the box for $178. And I just, like I said before, I think there's just a little something for everyone. I, I just think there is it's a box that just works for so many things. Yes. And it makes me happy. 
Like, you know, when, when you're creating, you just want that happy feeling. And this box Absolutely. invokes that. I just want to show that it, I had no problem. It was really easy to just kind of see where the pattern was and just line it up. So now I'm just going to do the other half. That looks really cool. It's a fun one, isn't it? I love that color in the background too. But that is such the wallpaper of the 90s. Oh yeah. It's definitely or seen by the bell. Or your 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 school folder or your book bag. Mm -hmm. I mean, this pattern of the 90s was everywhere. Sheets, t-shirts, wallpaper. I mean, it we makes me wore... think of caboodles. Do you remember those? Oh yes. You yeah. caboodles. They were all the rage. <laughs> that is a fantastic. caboodle just just to share just in case you don't know what a caboodle is they were these really bright and colorful they, they were like girls to toolbox for makeup and they were just or or hair accessories or whatever um you kept your scrunchies in them that's right you could keep all of your scrunchies in there and if you still have anything lingering from well it's probably late 80s you uh you might have a banana clip in there do you remember banana clips? Yeah. Well, I always am known. So I wear a hair clip almost every day. And Christopher and the crew calls them my banana clips. And the, and there is a, a sticker that we have in the um, on British Monroe that says something about a scrunchie that just had to order because she thought it reminded her of me. But I don't know about you, but. So I'll, again, I'll give away my age, but when I went to college, it was 94 and I needed to make money. So I would sit in the dorm and my boyfriend at the time, who's my husband now, he would help me cut fabric and then I would oh, sew scrunchies and I would sell them to all the college kids so that we would have money to go down to the local, you know, hamburger that stand. That is awesome. <laughs> I love that. I'm laughing because we're talking about the 90s and we're we're reminiscing and I am remembering how old I am because I just stencil I just colored through the stencil where there's no paper. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. You're having too much fun now. My bifocals, as a matter of fact. Yeah. <laughs> Nikki used to have one. Used Lily to have has one. That's awesome, Lily. And I see that Amory oh, got a Yay! That's awesome. That is super fun. And I don't know about you, but if I had a caboodle now, it would probably have art supplies in it. It would. <laughs> so we have um, five card panels that uh, are card bases that come in the kit. This one... Um, you could also buy them outside of the kit. And what I like to do at this point is I just like to make sure that this all fits on that I cut my paper correctly. But if you don't want to cut your paper out of the Notcher Mamas, um, we have alcohol perfect blending paper and it blends beautifully. It's already cut. We have it in slimline. We have it in A2 size. And that way you don't have to worry about measuring and all that other stuff. Look how funny. These are the ones that I did that were <laughs> I did it a couple of times. Yeah. That's okay. Now it's uniquely yours. That's right. <laughs> so I'm just going to put this stuff to the side. And one of the things that I like to do when I have done a stencil on a piece of paper is I like to ink the edges, but I'm just going to trim off a little bit of the side. So I'm going to actually, I'm glad that we're bond together because I always worry when I'm doing a lot of coloring. And so this works out good because we can, we can visit with each other while we're, while we're coloring too. Oh, but, here um, comes Christopher. Time for some trivia. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to color these while Christopher's talking and Heather can go on. And I'm just using alcohol ink. I'm using tri-blend. But then I added a couple other markers that just give me like one shade deeper so that I can get a little more definition. And this little phone is from our Retro Rewind stamp set. And I just think it's so dang cute. I wanted to, I wanted to play. 
That reminds me of my 16th birthday because for my 16th birthday, my parents got me one thing back then and it was a phone because we had the corded phones. Do you remember that? I do. I do. And I remember being a slave to them when like, if you were on a really important to you, at least phone call, yeah. you had to stay near the phone if, if you didn't have a cordless. You, well, we didn't have a cordless. So the second phone became mine about well, 16th. And my parents went down to the pay phone down the street because we lived in town to call me to surprise me with my phone. So it rang. Uh -huh. So here's the question. Are you ready? What Boeing former employee and TV personality taught kids about science in the 90s? What former Boeing employee and TV personality taught kids about science in the 90s? Oh. Not bought, Bill by close. Well, uh, see see the chat. Sharon Bowman got it. Okay, so. Good job. Now we have something really fun to show you your prize. So in the 90s, I loved the toy machines. <laughs> so you won't get the toy machine capsule because we have to use it for other giveaways. But here you go, Heather, put the put the pretend quarter in the thing and turn, <laughs> turn the dial. And here you go. So let's see what you got. We have a winner. It was Sharon. Totally yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm good. Sharon Bowman. Woo! It's a t-shirt. Woohoo! That's awesome. You need to email your size to orders at brutusmonroe.com and say, I am a winner. And if you have not had a customer account, we will need your address, phone number, and your name and your email. So congratulations. Woo! That is the coolest little bubble thing ever. That is awesome. All right. Oh, so no. you know that maybe That's okay. There's gonna be other choice. I think there's like two more chances, right, Christopher? Okay. You know what I thought you were gonna pull out? I thought what? you were gonna pull out a claw machine. A claw machine. <laughs> uh, do not give him ideas. <laughs> <laughs> no, Christopher Strike. <laughs> Shannon Strike. If anybody's looking for a birthday idea, a birthday gift idea, Christopher is liking the idea of a claw machine. <laughs> Oh, and you know, is, they sell those. The problem is Shannon's not here with me every day, so she doesn't know <laughs> how sporadic I could be with uh, <laughs> ordering things like that. Strike Shannon. We'll have something fun for uh -oh. next Don't worry. I'm in trouble. Hello, Scrap Mania and Paula and Nets Galore and Texas Gal. Welcome, welcome. Texas Gal. Man, that person after your own heart, Shannon. That's right. So, like I said, I'm now going to edge this stuff. We're just having too much fun. I know, this and fun. you can feel free to craft with us. I know you might not have your kit yet, but they are working hard. We had we warned Paul that he's going to have to bring the big post office truck. And once yours is ready... You will get a shipping notice. Please, please, please post on social media and hashtag Brutus Monroe. You can do it on Instagram. You can go on to our Brutus Monroe fan club page. We love, love, love to see what you create. And like I said, a certain someone's birthday is April 3rd. So you... Oh, 13th. You should. Well, how, how did I screw that? Right. Right. You're out of the biography. <laughs> um, the 13th, you will have plenty of time to send us, send him a card. Perfect. So, Sharon, you just want to send saying, I'm a winner to orders at BrutusMonroe.com. So, we have our very first winner. Yay! Woohoo! Somebody is. Why not? Last one. Uh, oh, I said two more. Okay. Uh, last oh, no, one. last one on the Oh, awesome. Oh, How many friends? Are you guys ready? How many friends were there on Friends? 
This is trivia show. question number two. So I'm going to cheat. I stole this out of Chris. Okay, Texas gal got it first. Woo! Okay. okay. Woo Turn the <laughs> Okay, ready, set, go. Okay, you guys ready? So this went down. I should have had, had a giant quarter. Next time. Yeah. I think I have one at home somewhere. Okay, you guys ready? Woo! Texas gal! Oh, a clutter catcher. Woo! Clippings catcher. So, and again, this is on the website, but look at how fabulous. We actually store all these on the live. And we put our squeaky clean in here, but you can put you can, your, I mean, I anything. Use, it's really intended for you to put next to you and put all of your scraps in. And then you, once you're done with all of your, once you're done, you can take this over to the garbage and toss it out. So you don't throw away your clippings catcher, but you throw away all the stuff inside. So what you'll want to do, Texas gal, is identify yourself, send an email to orders at brucemonroe.com with your address, your phone number, and your email, and your real name, and say, I won the uh, catch the uh, clippings, catch clippings catcher. It is a pun twister. And we'll pull the next one in about 10 minutes. Okay. I already have a whole bunch out here for you. I wanted this color. I wanted this color. Make sure you be careful with your. Okay. <laughs> look at your carrots. Oh. Talk about yourself. Karen, Karen uh, got disconnected. He's coming back on. Oh, no. So, this stamp is on the main set. And there is a die, and Shannon is zooming right ahead of me. So I'm just going to, for the magic of TV, pretend like I stamped it out. And then, again, since this card is for Christopher, I'm going to um, color it in orange and hello to Kathy. I am so glad that you are with us today. We are showing and creating things in the new retro release box that came out from Brutus Monroe for Christopher's birthday. We are having all kinds of fun. We're having a lot of fun. We'll have to do this again, Shannon. What was that? We'll have to do this again. I agree. I am having a blast. I had to change my marker. That one's a little dry, but I had a backup. That's all right. Usually when I'm live by myself, I pretend that I'm talking to Shannon. <laughs> <laughs> so this is fantastic. Um, way to make sure that you are able to be in person. So again, this kit, yes, this, the sneaker and the phone is part of the set and that comes in this kit that instead of $140, we marked it down to $64.99. So I would grab yours and don't delay. I was a teen in the 80s in our little country home. We had a party line phone. Yes, Heidi, I remember party lines. Oh my gosh. My grandmother had a party line till she passed away in 95. My grandfather wow. would not get rid of the party line. So if you don't know what a party line is, so on top of the phone, having a cord that tethered you, unless you were like one of the partners in creativity just mentioned, you had to get the extra long cord that might get you to the bathroom or <laughs> the back porch or the front porch or somewhere to hide so that the rest of your family wouldn't hear what you were talking about with your friends. You would pick up the phone and sometimes the phone line was being used by some of your neighbors and you would have to wait Till they stop talking to be able to talk. They began with letters. 
Okay, well, you win, Fatima. <laughs> I don't remember the letters. Do you remember the letters being in the phone number, Heidi or Shannon? No. That is, I remember being able to dial the phone without area codes, though. I remember when you could, when you could, we had pay phones everywhere and they were 10 cents. Yes. When my husband and I were dating 28 years ago before, because we never had cell phones. Um, when we were in college together, he would have to, uh, so that... <laughs> His parents, they only lived in a four room house. So it was his bedroom, his parents' bedroom, and then the common area and a restroom. So literally he would go down to the local park after he bought phone cards, right? Wow, yeah, yeah. Sense was great. I always joke with my kids. I'm like, you know, my, cause my son, Benji, he's 13. He yeah. always asks me to, if he can bring his phone to school and I'm, I'm like, eh, with him, I'm just like, I feel like it'll distract him. Yep. And so I'm like, and not only that, but if somebody from our day, <laughs> you know, tried uh -huh. to bring a cell phone to school, there's no way that nobody would know because that thing would take up all their whole book bag. <laughs> right. Well, cell phones, I remember my dad had, they were called car phones beginning. They were the size of a brick with a huge antenna. And you had to plug it into the middle of the, of the car. Yeah. Yep. Heidi did not have letters, but we had a woman I took care of that thought her number was still letters. There you go. Oh, rotary phones. Those were the days too. If you messed up as you dialed the rotary oh, yeah. phone, you had to like hang up. It was always the last rotary. number too. Yes. I miss <laughs> being able to like slam the phone down. Or that's true. That was satisfying when you were mad. Right. And then if you were not available, yeah. literally you would take the phone and put it off the hook because you didn't want to answer it. Yep. Oh yeah. Busy signals. I don't miss busy signals. Oh yes. So uh, the business phone here does do busy signals when you, it does oh. a weird, it goes a whoop. If it, if the person's talking. Well, if I ever get nostalgic for that, I'll, I'll know where I can call to hear it. <laughs> no, it just goes, Baloop. it's not a, it's not a traditional, like. Oh, okay. It's not an eh, eh, no. eh. <laughs> Yes. The, the real bell on the phone was fantastic. Oh yeah. Installed in your car by Radio Shack. That's where my parents got the blue <laughs> phone that Shannon is coloring right now. Oh, uh, I would love a phone like that. Like do, you, that. do you remember the whole wall had all those phones on them? And you would go and you would shop. They had ones that were shaped by like different characters. Like the cat and the yes. and Mickey Mouse was a big one. Oh, the pagers. Oh my gosh. That's like 2000. Yeah. Oh, here he comes again. Last one. Whoop, whoop. The second one down. Okay, you guys ready this for- is a, This is a tricky one. Miss South West. Uh, South West. Second one. Oh. You guys ready for another trivia? Hello, Mackie. Thank you for joining us. Hi, Mackie. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Oh, that sounds fantastic. What 90s teen movie star appeared in three Aerosmith videos? I'm going to read it again. What 90s TV movie star appeared in three Aerosmith videos? Is anyone oh. guessing? If Anybody? no one guesses, I'll guess. Not Catherine. I would let someone, yeah, I would wait until somebody else. I can give another clue. No, no clues. Not, not Liv Tyler. Okay. Well, Liv Tyler wasn't really a movie star at the time. 
Nope. She was just the daughter of Eros. Right. But good guess. No clues? Nope. You're already giving them a clue by saying no clues. <laughs> ah. <laughs> he did that? All right, he got it. Did? She did Alicia Silverstone. Okay. Good job. All right, put your quarter in. Woo! Turn the dial. Okay, Heidi got it. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Make sure you email orders at brutusmonroe.com saying that you got a teddy bear. Oh, look at how cute. Awesome. So, so these teddy bears we brought out so if you book a birthday party here you get one of these bears but we've had people book a gal's night we've had people book a bachelorette party we've had some people that have just booked a craft here so you can create your own ending with a get together that you don't have to worry about hosting they don't have to come to your house and we are located in pittsburgh pa on 1000 green tree road and you can send an email to parties at brutusmonroe.com or events at brutusmonroe.com either one will work or events and you will get this bear included it's a different bear though they get the rainbow bear oh the that. hue bear this is the everyday bear okay so the hue bear we what we did for christmas time was you bought a bear and then we gave a bear to kids that did not have christmas so that, his name well their name is raven Oh, this one is Raven. How fitting. I yep. love it. So there you go. So I'm going to give this to Christopher. Good job, Heidi. Woohoo! So send an email to orders at brutusmonroe.com. I'm having so much fun. Okay, so it's Darren A. Is he back? Yeah, he's back. Okay, so <laughs> I am going to use the brand new washi sheets and Christopher created these because I don't know about you, but I get a lot of washi. It sometimes has issues sticking. I have so much of it. And really, I just need a little bit. So when I made that card, I literally used that much. And I still have all these different ones. It's so cute. And I really love it. So I just about to cut my little... Um my little phones out those are so and cute then, aren't they fun i love those little phones i kind of it kind of makes me miss phones i was thinking about phones while, while you were talking about them and my brother had one of those phones that was clear that you could see yes. all the insides of it <laughs> oh my gosh those were fantastic right and i'm actually going to just point one more thing out just because I'm, I'm going to assemble as you're doing yours if you don't mind these are just parts of the conversation clippings. Yes. And um, I am going to use the yada, yada, yada conversation clippings. Uh, <laughs> Heather talked about talked about them a little bit in the beginning um, when she was talking about the kids. So if you want to know a little bit more about them, watch the beginning of this video if you didn't see it before. But I love those because you can foil them, you can color, you can leave them alone. Absolutely. So the washi tape, all I did is I just laid it down on my card right here, and this is what's left over. So then I just take my scissors, and I just trim off the excess, and I save that for another day, another project. I can put it on my, my water bottle, my folder, or I can save it for another craft. And All that's right, BRU 3396. This is not included in the box. It's included as an add-on. I need an opinion from you guys. I got yada, 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 but I also have how you doing. Either would work with the phones pretty good. Ooh. Which do you guys think? You like how you doing? I actually like. I'll be there for you uh, for you too because you know. Sometimes you just need to call your friend. Oh, there you go, Linda. Linda is suggesting 
how are you doing? And I can hear right. that voice. How you doing wins? So I'm going to take our easy tear tape and I'm just going to put this on the back. Yeah, the original, I made it a wobbler. This one is not going to be a wobbler because we're um, sold out right now, but I'm going to pop it up with a foam square. When I was crafting at my friend's house, I call her basement. She has an entire basement that's her craft room and I call it Mecca. So she let me borrow whatever I wanted. <laughs> Kathy nice. Smith. Yeah. So the easy tear tape, what's so nice is you can literally just get under here with your fingernails or a pick tool and then pull off the back. You don't need to worry about scissors. And then I'm just gonna cover part of this. And because this washi tape has a grid right here, I'm just gonna line this up. And there you go. And now I'm gonna do the same with this background. Oh, what's crack a would work too. Oh my gosh, there's just so many good choices. Maybe I'll use more than one. Does the washi come with everything, Shannon? Does the what come with Does everything? Does the washi tape come with the I want it all? Yes. There you go. That is a crazy good deal. $180 and you get everything but the t-shirt. I mean, and you can do after pay. I mean, I, I, it, it's an incredible, incredible gift to yourself. And it's a gift to those people that you make your wonderful creations with. So those card panels just make it that simple. I just put my my A2 cut down panel on it that I used earlier. It's a little trick. If you have extra pieces that you've stamped out and you haven't used, just put them behind your backer for another project time. And then what I'm going to do before I go any further is I'm going to hopefully stamp this and the misty and this is where i was saying i have a second mat already in my misty right and again it's so smooth i can't use it so and then I'm, again if it's too sticky i'm just going to test it and i'm going to put this in here and what I'm doing is I'm gonna put my shoe in here so I can get the perfect lineup. So I use one stick and stamp mat for blending, one stick and stamp mat for stamping, and then my other one for panic mode. For panic mode. I wanted to point out that I'm using one of our fabulous uh, pre-cut, pre-scored card bases. Love it. I love them. And this is what's really cool about the Misty and the stick and stamp. Cause look, my circle is sticking to my mat. I don't have to worry about it. And then I'm just going to take my ink, my Raven detail ink. And I'm just going to stamp. There's a little mouse in here. And look at that, sending cool vibes on your birthday. Perfect. Yay. And then again, because I'm addicted, I'm going to take my cherry cola squeaky clean that just came out in this release. I'm going to spray on here, spray on here. Just... It smells so good. 
And I'm just going to clean my stamp. And then you do want to wait like 15 seconds before you put this away. So I just got these stickers. I um I think we're out of them though, but they are Bella Boulevard. Yeah, they're they might be out. And this is the retro rewind uh, six by eight stamp set that Shannon and I are both working with. That comes in the kit. Now again. To pull this off, I don't want to stick, this is a brand new mat, I especially do not want to stick my fingernails under there. All I have to do is remember the book fold, right? And look, it pops up and doesn't rip, see? Well, the if you need something to hold it down, these magnets come with the Misty, so... I know Simon Hurley has a video up on our stick and stamp mat. And what he does is he takes some tape and puts some pixie tape right here. But the magnets will hold the mat down to some degree. There you go. I'm gonna just put this aside. I'm just matting my background on a piece of four by five and a quarter kind of a hot pink oh my gosh that's popping i love that isn't that fun and look at how, well after i finish it i'll show you how just how different the two backgrounds look just from changing up the colors a little bit i mean obviously they're the same background but they it's as far as who you're giving it to yeah completely get a different vibe Look at that little sticker off to the side. <laughs> that was a fun pack of stickers. It had a lot on it. Listen, Texas gal, I, I'm a little bit rough too, but sometimes you have to just be a little gentle, patient with yourself. So the original one, Shannon, I used a wobbler. But this one, I'm just going to take a 3D foam from Thermal Web that we carry in the store. And this combo pack comes in two different sizes, but we also have the ones that um, have just different sizes. So it's whichever way you want to go. So I'm going to okay, create your own ending. Yes, create your own ending. So I'm going to put the first phone down just... Um, flush with the card and the second one I'm going to pop up. I like layering. My favorite. That's nice. <laughs> Dimension is an amazing thing. And I'm just going to pull the back off these little foam squares. I'm just playing. <laughs> you know me, I always have to reposition it 40 times before I decide. You're, you're fine. They want to know if you're going live this evening also, Shannon. I am going live this evening with obviously a different project. <laughs> well, you I'd be really good at this one by then, though. <laughs> so, yes, Kelly, Shannon will be going live. Whoop, whoop. Yay. And um, you've inspired me. I might have to... Um, is Christopher still in there? No. Christopher, um, a few years ago, uh, sent me a little bingo thing. A little bingo, like, Card. ball thing. Like, where yeah. you... And so I'm thinking, maybe I'll just use the little thing that you spin the balls in. 
to just put oh, there you go and maybe we'll have to do a prize tonight too oh my gosh a wonderful release and all these prizes I, I mean i don't know if it gets any better i don't know that my prizes will be as grand but you know i don't know i i might have a few things i think i have a few things i think you could have a few things. Away. that looks fabulous thank you i think it's kind of fun i think it just needs one more thing maybe one last thing and we'll call it good i love creating with people like this this is what's really fun is if you get some friends together whether it's virtually or in person and you can really play off of each other and just have fun i agree i know it's fun to you learn things that you didn't know you you know right like oh i've been crafting so long i didn't realize i had so much to learn but really i did know <laughs> because... Anybody has a question like that? shoot kelly non-release question you're going okay. seven um central standard time correct seven central yep which is six eastern standard time Oh, it's, eight eastern. it's eight eastern oh, standard eight. Time. yep i think we're good i think i'm trying to put stuff on there that doesn't need to you be on there. oh no I did find one background. that looks so cool look what i found That's though your question kelly you can try thank you linda there you go Darren's on it. Okay, I'm going to skip that little yeah. yellow guy. So our clear embossing powder is called Icicle. It is shiny. Our clear, and she's wondering if we have a clear matte embossing powder. She wants to do some no line water coloring. So yeah, it's shiny. Our icicle, isn't it? Yeah, ours, it is shiny. I don't know that we have a matte one. We do not. But it's good to know we need one. <laughs> there you go. What's one thing you think you would add to the retro birthday kit? I, I had to have it all, I'll admit. <laughs> I bought it all. I think that the puzzling stem, the puzzling stencil, and oh, here comes Christopher. You wouldn't want to use a matte embossing powder when watercoloring because a matte embossing powder will suck up the color. Oh, so don't use a matte embossing powder when you're. Take it from me. I have watercolored every medium that exists, and if you use a matte embossing powder, it's going to try to retain that color. So you always want to use a shiny because that will repel the color. There you go. Thinking of learning something from your friends, right? There you go. I wanted to and point out one thing. No line water color. And we do have a four pack of inks that has our Sherlock disappearing ink, which if you don't want to use the embossing powder and you're looking for something to completely go away, that might be something um, more what you're looking for. Um, it's a four pack. I don't know if Darren is able to find the link real quick, but it has our Raven detail ink our alabaster, our embossing powder, our embossing ink, and then the Sherlock. And that Sherlock is only available in that four pack. And we do not have it in full size. We do not have a re-inker. So it's on sale. So you might want to buy more than one. Just want to say her hard card is so cute. Oh, thank you. Isn't it fun to see the different, I mean. That looks fabulous. Hi, Jerry. Uh, I wanted to just share one little tip. If uh, if you have conversation clippings and you've got them all cut out and you're wondering where to put them to keep them safe, I just use these little gum containers. I just save them after. And I just put my little things in them. Well, and then you can put a little label on the front. Oh, I love that. Just put in your drawer nice. So, yeah. There you go. Yes, Jerry, this is Christopher's limited release birthday box plus additives so i would not delay and i do want to go over real quick 
before we show, if you want to grab your other cards, if you want to show what you, you created bet. with this release. And then I'll show you mine. And then you guys can, we'll let you go so you can go shop. So this is only while supplies last. And keep in mind that um, the, car, the kit is going to sell out. And once the kit sells out, instead of $140 on a cart, you can get it right now for $64.99. But when it is gone as a kit, it is gone. So now through the end of the month, if you spend $50 or more, you're going to get the Scrapbooking Cards Today magazine plus the brand new stick and stamp mat with this wonderful rainbow design. If you spend $75 or more, you can get this fabulous four pack of aqua pigments. And that's fantastic. And then we also have the Not Your Mama's cardstock. And it's buy one, get the second one 50% off, which is insane. And that's only through the 19th. And then we are debuting, both Shannon and I use the blending brushes. You can get a four pack of these for $9.99. And then also in this release, you can get the shirt that I'm wearing. This is the benefit, um, the Prasad Center, and that is a local LGBTQIA um, mental health and um, extra services for a wonderful community here in the Pittsburgh area. Um, I know my family uses it. It's fantastic. It's called the Prasad Center. It's P-E-R-S-A-D if you want to look them up, and they're a mental health um center for not only for the LGBTQIA, but families, allies, friends, they do wonderful re, um, re, uh, reach outs to the community. So Christopher, for this birthday release, has been gracious enough to have these t-shirts. They're $20 for adults, $15 for youth sizes. And, you know, I can't think of a better way to do a shout out to Christopher's birthday and April 13th than to do such a great benefit. And I know a couple of you have asked what happens. You can also still donate to the Trevor project that we donate to, um, by putting your tip in. So it's fantastic. We at Bruce Monroe really, really hold these causes near and dear to our hearts. Okay. I am going to pull up my samples. Are you ready, Shannon? I am so ready. Go ahead. And okay. oh, real quick, somebody asked about stencils. The stencils that are in this kit are not released anywhere but this kit, but you can get, um, you can get um, the other stencils in the release that are on the website. If you type in retro, Everything in this release will come up. <gasps> Look at how cute! This is the one I made with the puzzling. Sorry, I'm still trying to get the, the hang of my where my camera is. But this is the puzzling stamp set. And then this right here is stenciled using the um, Kapow stencil. I love that. Do you want to just go back and forth? Uh, I can't. Yeah, we can't. So I'll show my um puzzling and i used the off the hook this is what was a lot of you guys had asked what we did in the make and take um, i love that on the slim line like that that's so cute the the mailman's here i don't know if anyone can help him sorry let's see i'm just messaging the team sorry guys so this was such a fun um, make and take, but also class to do. So this is what I did with the, uh, there's a mailman. Okay, awesome. So this off the hook, I actually used it in the A2 size and then I was able to line it up perfectly and make it into a slim line. That is awesome. And then I used some pop dots and then, yeah, this is what I did with the, the puzzling. I'll do the quench next. Okay. So I used it with the worn brick stencil 
Love it. And then I used the kapow again, which is a great way to make your sentiment stand up, a stand out. Exactly. And then, yeah, I just used, oh, and the top one is embossed. And so is the pop. Oh my gosh, that's and so again, cool. Use the conversation clippings. I love how you cut out what you stenciled and then layered it like that. Like, I mean, you can turn just a stencil into a popping card with all those layers. That's fantastic. Absolutely. Absolutely. We got to love all of our project uh, products so that we can, I mean, we can use them multiple ways. Yes. So this card, I also used that quench um, slim line and I also embossed in icicle. This is our icicle clear embossing powder. And then I used our metallic uh, precious metal paper here. I like that you made a little label for them. Yes. I All I did is I took the stencil and flipped it upside down and traced it on the back of that and then cut it out. And I used our, I used our um, yellow sunshine glitter glaze on here and then splattered it and then the Cute. gilded gold embossing powder nice the next one i did was the um let's roll with it stamp set okay. and then i used that with the geostorm stencil and i just kind of did an ink blend just oh that did we is see? so oh, fun sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Daryl. That I love that. It almost looks like it's moving. And then you did that geometric storm. Yeah, kind of fun. That Brings is, back memories for sure. <laughs> yes. I remember going to the skating rink with my friends. Or I would go to my grandmother's after school. And then she would walk us down and then we'd sleep over at my grandmother's house. Oh, and fun. It was so fun. And then this well, is what, what I did. Had the skate always had those orange wheels. That, that was one thing I remembered about the skate. Yes. The, oh my gosh. I completely <laughs> forgot about that. Yes. So this one is what I did. And it's so funny. I used the same background, the geometric storm. And then I made it as a slider and we'll be getting I these in that. from Blonde Fawn and they can twirl. It just depends on how much you put on here. And then I use the sentiments. I just was and laughing because when you, also when you turned it upside down. What's that? I was just going to say, when you turned the skates upside down, I was like, now that's me roller skating. Yeah. <laughs> Falling on the ground. <laughs> rolling over a couple times <laughs> yes this is how i skated like i would hit the wall and then fall so and i use the sunshine glitter glaze also on this and what i did is i ink blended both a yellow from simon hurley as well as an orange and i think i used psych shooting star and war on the card that's another happy card i like that thank you so this one, I used the sketchy that uh, is so cute. stamp and dies. Thanks. And I used lunar paste on the back. Oh, just, my goodness. It's kind of just a fun way to make a, a crazy cool background. And there's your glitter sketchy. This, this is the etch a sketch I would own now <laughs> if is, I were to buy one. That is fantastic. And in my last card that I have to show, and this was really, really simple. I literally took a, a paper and cut it from our Retro Rewind paper pad and cut it into an A2 size card. I did a circle from also the paper pad. And if you look, because this paper had hello 90s, when I put the phone with a pop dot, it looks like that's the sentiment. I love and it. This card was done at 3 30 in the morning and could not have been more than five <laughs> minutes to put together. And it's my favorite. <laughs> it's really cute. Um, I made a couple more with the retro rewind set. Oh um, this God, is kind of funny. If you, 
if you saw my live a few weeks ago, I did a scrapbook page where I used panels with the glitter glaze. I was like, oh, I have these. I'm just going to cut out some embellishments. So this is all uh, glitter glaze up here. I remember walk like break dancing and then they would, people would walk backwards. Yes, yes. Had such movement. Well, it's a little more 80s, I guess. But yes, I definitely, I, I can see the moonwalk ready to happen. Yes. <laughs> And then this one's got the cassette collection stencil on the back with stamps from the retro rewind stamp I love, set. And you couldn't bounce too much with your Walkman in the beginning because if they didn't have that anti, I don't remember what it was called, but like they would skip and your your CDs would skip. Yes. Yeah. Do and you I remember used, that? I do. I used a little bit of... Uh, Is um, that Pearl? It's fairy dust. That is so pretty. I love that. Well, and it's kind of subtle because I just used the pigment uh, ink and then I just barely went over it because I just, I didn't want it to be really Look at your nails much. with this card. What, oh, the card is red. These are kind of more hot pink, but okay. in the camera, it definitely looks closer to the same. And then my last card, I did one uh, with the yo-yo. That is so cute. <laughs> Oh, thank you. This is just the, uh, you know, I just made a background using the yo-yo and then yep. this is so fun. And I want you to know, I'm always kind of intimidated if I have to line things up because I'm just, that's not my forte, but it was really easy to line up the string. And that set, let me see if I have it handy. It's so cute because it has also got these ones that have the sentiment right in the string. Yep. Um, may your ups exceed your downs and treat yourself super cute and then this so little the yo -yo, that that's the background just to do a background on a yes, card this, so this is smart. what i did right here that's what the pink panel has on the background so. so if you are looking at the ones that shannon and i did with some of the things that are not in the box you can buy the yo-yo you can buy the roll-on set, which is the skates, or the puzzling set. All Those are all add-ons to the box. So those are not in the box. The cassette stencil, the off-the-hook, the, hook, the uh, clench, and the kapow stencils are all also add-ons. Now, if you want ever, and so is the squeaky clean. If you want everything that you're seeing here, Plus, you can order it for the I Want It All. It's $178. You get the box, and you get all the stencils, all the stamps, all the dyes, and you get a fabulous weekend or, you know, month, year, create your own ending. And really, I don't think there's anyone who wouldn't enjoy getting something created with this collection. I agree. And then... Like I said, we are also selling the t-shirts and there's some, I think it's called an Easter egg, but there's some fun things on the t-shirt. So there's the British Monroe logo up here, which is super, super fun. And then there is, I'm trying to, I'm trying to see this from, here's the retro rewind in here. So there's some fun things to like find on the shirt. And I don't know about you, but you're also giving to a great cause. And, you know, I don't think anything could be better for Christopher's birthday box than to not only do something for yourself, but to do for others. Well said. Oh, Robin, I want to see you make a, yes, a slider card. Robin, I challenge you to post on the British Monroe fan club page, a card using the yo-yo. <laughs> with twine i <gasps> shut up what is that a new product that you can show if you would like oh my gosh no you show it come, come on they love you come on it's your <laughs> birthday box and I'm running around this building. that's okay hi everyone hi 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 so <clears throat> this is hot off the press and it's going to be a birthday exclusive it's going to launch i think it'll probably launch sooner than sooner than my birthday but it's our new great drone ending large tote and it has my signature on it. Oh, um, my gosh. And holographic. So this is our new, I, I, we'll probably call it like a take-along tote, but it's it's huge inside. And it has a zipper. 
um, but it has the creature on ending. And then I hand signed every, I'm exhausted, really, <laughs> every single one. So uh, my signature is on it in a really cool holographic um, thing. That is super and cool. For customer care to orders at British You're not buying the box this time, Robin. Why? I'm here now. I want an explanation. That's okay. <laughs> you, if you just want the yo-yo stamp, the yo-yo stamp can be purchased separately with the die. Oh, and I have another new sneak peek on. This is a new shirt that's coming. What? Yep. That's super fun. Yep. Oh my gosh. I've been running around this building like a crazy man all day today. I'm as, I, if I didn't lose 15 pounds, I'm doing something <laughs> terribly wrong. <laughs> you got okay. your steps in. And this is this is a, this is a sample one. You can you, tell. You can just put that in my box. Absolutely not. <laughs> Although your new your new summer shirts are, you have to pick them up before you come upstairs. Okay. They're all printed. Do I get them from Daryl? Yeah. Fantastic. So, do you guys have any questions that Shannon and I an, uh, can answer for you? If you have customer care questions, always email those to orders at brutusmonroe.com so that somebody can take care of you today. We usually get back to emails within 24 to 48 hours, but um, yeah, this is such a fun release. Shannon, I had a lot of fun with you today. I, don't I had know. a lot of fun with you too. And whether you want to create a sneaker card or a phone card or anything else, please check out BrutusMonroe.com and also make sure you check out the Brutus Monroe fan club page. Shannon has some amazing, amazing challenges going on. We haven't done challenges since... Um, the fuzzy time is what I'm calling it. Um, yeah, yeah this is what has one up to the end. Once the live ends, just give it five minutes. You'll be able to watch everything from the very beginning. I don't want to miss anything because everything's out of the box. Some of the stuff is not quite back where it should be. So I'd hate to like show you every single thing and then miss something. But if you go all the way back to the beginning, just give the the live five minutes and then it'll be ready for everybody to view. Thank you, Linda. Thank you, Shannon. Thank you, Thank you. Darren, behind the scenes. <laughs> but thank you guys because without you we wouldn't be here and Brutus Monroe really appreciates you being our partners in creativity and a huge thank you to Christopher for all the things he does okay hey, remember to create your ending have a great day and create something every day <laughs>